Hey guys, VVs, and welcome back to another video. So as you see, I'm still here at the Living Rock Caverns, and today I've got 356k mining XP so far, as you see right up here. Now, I'm um, with my XP tracker. Uh, the other video, I was actually like 450k or so. Um, don't quote me on that one, but basically what I do is I'll reset my mining XP each day to see how much mining XP I obviously get each day, and that just assists me with tracking uh, my XP. Uh, obviously, and it will it'll, it can kind of give me some sort of indication of when I'll be able to get the uh, 99 mining. So obviously, yesterday I was 94 mining, and currently 783 x 783k XP off of the 96 mining. So like I said in my previous video, I'm going to be getting 99 mining um, as soon as I can. I'm going to quickly rearrange my setup here, so I'm going to quickly shut down that and then bring this up, close that down. Uh, now my event, my uh, my whole screen setup is kind of a little bit dodgy at the moment because I went to try our warbands this morning because it's good. It's a good amount of XP an hour. It's like you do you go get your minerals and stuff or your resources from the wilderness. You bring them back, you get 110k mining XP about. I tried that this morning. Now I've never really done it before. I've done it once before, and it got like 100k mining XP when I was a when I was a lower level. But I tried again this morning, and I just died again. I lost like 600, 700k. Now the money side of things, I really, I don't really care about losing 600k. Um, it's just the fact that. Uh, out of every single time that I've tried to do war bands, I've always died there. And to be honest, it just it kind of just really annoys me. So in my opinion, it's not really worth it at this stage, considering I'm getting 100k XP an hour here. Um, I'd rather just you know, I'd rather just chill here, the rather than rather than do war bands. Unless you guys have some some sort of friends chat that you guys use. I used war bands one. Um, I didn't try out war bands two or war band PK or anything like that. I just tried out war bands one because I heard that was one of the uh, one of the best friends chats. One of the best friends friends chat to use. So yeah, just trying to get some mining XP after this. Um, I'm probably gonna do my. I'm probably gonna do the World Wakes quest and use the 300k XP on uh, 97 agility. So that will give me 97 agility, obviously. And then I'll continue doing mining. Or oh, well, I'll probably be 99 mining. I'll do the quest. I'll come back get 97 agility and uh, continue with divination. Now just before I bought. 20,000 lustrous energies because at 70 divination you collect lustrous energies and convert those into memories I think it is I'm not sure um, but you use you can use obviously the three options the first one is useless the second one is to conserve energies and the third one is combined energies with XP and um, I you know I found that at 70 divination the XP is quite slow so I'm gonna try and boost my XP per hour a bit uh, by purchasing energies. So my goals for this year are pretty much obviously to get maxed out. Um, I should be able to get 99 mining within the next few days and then um, obviously do the World Wakes quest. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to make a, uh, a quest guide on the World's Wa World Wakes quest because I've looked up a few other guides and uh, they seem to have everything down pat. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that. I may do just a boss fight video just to um, cover up a few things and just show you guys basically how I did it. But yeah, my, my goals are obviously to get the max cape uh, within the next year, which should be which should be uh, very achievable. Obviously, I'm going to have to get 99 divination, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Mining and agility won't really be that much of a pain. For mining, I'm going to be getting my penance horn. I'm going to be training that up at Barbarian Assault, or filling that up rather. And getting the double XP for I think it's I don't I think it's like 500k double XP or a mil XP I'm not quite sure on what the XP is there but then I'll obviously have to get from 85 to 99 divination because the plan is to get um, 99 mining 85 divination 99 agility and then finish off 99 divination hopefully before the new skill comes out now with completionist cape I'm going to get maxed out first before I start um, even bothering with div uh, with dungeoneering because dungeoneering is that's a lot of that's a lot of XP I have 58 million XP until I level up, uh, no, until I get to the 120 Dungeoneering, and I'm not even halfway to 120 yet, so that's going to be quite, that's going to be quite a journey getting to 120 Dungeoneering. But yeah, this year is going to be my first year of university as well, seeing as 2014. Um, I graduated high school last year, so it's going to, it's going to be onto university this year. Um, I've, I applied for a double degree in business and commerce, which is just financing and working with money, I believe. I'll find that out, and I've, I've obviously read up on it and stuff, but uh, we'll see how it goes. With the courses and such, um, I'm going to see how that goes. I'm going to primarily focus on, I, be, I believe it's finance, um, so that's more of a, I'm not sure if it's going to be like accounting and stuff, but it's working with money, because working is mo with money is something that I want to do in the future. And at this current stage, um, there was this thing in Queensland, in Australia, there's, or obviously there's a few different states in Queensland, I think there's seven or eight, or, yeah, there's seven, there's seven states in uh, Australia, um, that's including Tasmania, some may, uh, some may, 
say that Tasmania is not a state of Queensland and uh, you know some might agree and I think Laurie is going to be the only one that agrees there everyone else probably won't agree with that but uh, anyway but yeah so my goal of this year is to finish off my first year at university um, seeing as it's a double degree it should take about five years to complete the course and that will give me two degrees under my belt and um, a little bit of experience obviously when you go into the workplace um, experience is a lot better than just just general knowledge on the on the topic because um, as an employer you'd want it, you'd obviously want someone on the job with um, experience in that job but yeah to get into the university you need a thing called an overall position which is an OP um, now it doesn't really go off uh, how you oh well it doesn't really go off uh, ranks in school kind of like overall position in your school so you know if you get top of if you get top of like of your cohort or your grade and you get your 12 you don't get like OP1 well generally you do but the top five in a cohort can get like an overall position of one. Um, so just to clarify that, basically you sit a you sit a test called the uh, Queensland Core Skills Test, and then that uh, balances out all all of your um, all of your levels of achievement which you've gained from your chosen subjects. And it's just a complete. It's just ridiculous. It's really really hard to comprehend and understand. And it just it's just a pain in the ass. So basically, um, the goal was to do my best, and I achieved like my OP was seven, which is uh, pretty decent. I was really really uh, really happy about that one, and I needed a fourteen. The best you can get it is, is a 1 and the worst you can get is a 25, so a 7 was pretty good uh, on my behalf. And I managed to get a 7 while pulling off 6 99s last year as well, so that was always a good thing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for future content. And I will uh, see you in the next video, guys. Ordinary um, How I series or progress video or destination XP or, or my journey to 99 skills. It's more of a recap of my...